The ritual of a morning run is much more than exercise for a dedicated group that hits the streets of Baltimore while most of us are still asleep. Sports director Margaret Viano has a story of the men and women who run for recovery and survival. It starts with a prayer circle at 5.30 a.m., sunrise in the city. Tommy Bates leads the running group for Helping Up Mission. Woke us up this morning. Most of the men are in the mission's recovery program, joined by local volunteers who come to run and offer support. It's a team effort. <laughs> it's called Back on My Feet, volunteers joining men who are recovering from addiction and homelessness. The morning run is part of their recovery. It's therapy. It's good for my health. It's good for my, my mind good because you, 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 while you're running, you're in your own zone and you're doing your own thing. And so and when I'm done, I feel good. I think when we're running, like a lot of people's barriers come down and we just talk about like anything in our lives from like our families to what we're doing for the day and yeah, really just whatever comes to mind. Tommy Bates has been battling addiction for 20 years. He's a former high school runner and says he finds clarity and connection to God when he runs. And while running in the city, Bates sees reminders of his struggles. So that was me a year ago, you know, and, you know, but for the grace of God, there go I. Um, you know, sometimes it makes me sad, um, you know, seeing people, like, like, you know, like some people just don't have hope. You know, I've been there when I didn't have hope. Bates found hope at Helping Up Mission, where he's received professional counseling and faith formation to help him in his recovery. Now clean, he will soon graduate from the residential recovery program. Back on his feet, running has been a big part of restoring his health, his faith, and his mission to help others like him. I know the best way I can do that for me personally is with running. Um, you know, it makes me the best version of myself because it puts me in a positive mind frame to start the day. And it uh, lets me help other people because, you know, I'm there with my teammates every morning listening to them and helping them through things also. I came here to get help. And it's been a beautiful thing, a wonderful journey. And I would recommend it for anybody that needs help to come back and do this. One, two, three. Back on me! Well, we all run for different reasons. That's a powerful reason there. And I have opportunity to speak to the men at the recovery center there at Helping Up. And I like to share encouragement and inspiration, but I tell you, when you hear their stories and you see their strength, I leave inspired. Oh, yes. And I leave with greater strength. They're amazing men, and uh, to be there at 5.30 in the morning with them is an indication <laughs> of their dedication to where they want to go. It's a beautiful journey. It's a difficult journey, and uh, they deserve our help. Just like that gentleman said, there by the grace of God go I. Yeah, no doubt. How about that? Great story, Mark. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Be right back.